What's up, YouTube? It's Sunday night. Um, I'm sure it's after midnight. Um, since the junior incident, I am up. Um, last night, I was up till about 4 o'clock in the morning. I was looking at pictures of him and videos of him on IG. And um, my sleep pattern has been off. And now, tonight, after I had dinner, I knocked out until about maybe 10 o'clock. Um, so I was asleep most of the day after um, my Dollar Tree hauls and dinner. But um, a couple of people have sent me some information, and I seen it for myself on the Instagram page. Um, I want to say Justice for June. It's so many of them, and I'm not sure who's running these pages. Um, if it's family members, friends, or people like us that just have been touched by this tra tragedy. Um, but they're saying that they want to make a movie about his story and J-Lo is interested in playing the part. Um, that kind of bothers me. Um, for one, the grass hasn't even grown over um, his gravesite. Okay, he doesn't even have a tombstone. Um, the trial hasn't even happened. Um, let me turn this air condition off. They haven't even had the trial yet. Um, my concern for Leandra is right now um, she has to be grieving. And, you know, unfortunately, um, opportunists um, see a chance to make money. Um, like her GoFundMe was up to 400000 And then... I seen on an IG page um, from the brother. Um, the IG page, someone tried to take out a, a another GoFundMe on her behalf. And then they were saying that they took down the GoFundMe. Now you can send money to Cash App and all this other stuff. And, you know, I would like to send her something. <clears throat> A card or something. Um, I'm kind of crafty. Um, you know, I could make her something, you know, just to let her, just as a, a token to say, you know, I feel bad. I'm sorry that this happened to you. I love you. Um, I support you. Um, but it's just, you just don't know um, with all these opportunists out here, you just don't know. And I think this is an opportunity making a movie of his life not to say it hasn't been done before they do it all the time they make movies but usually it's you know not so soon and um sure they'll break the family off a couple of million dollars but they stand to make the bigger profit and it's just like really really sickening to think that um you know the value the the greed for money um means more to people these days than um than their life you know what i mean i know he only had 15 short years but still um this is a mother who carried her him in her womb for 9 months and loved him you know for the 15 years that she did have him and that people can just come and just you know, try to make money off of it or try to scheme and get money off of, you know, and it's been done before. There's been other people that have said, I know someone personally who passed away and there was a GoFundMe and the family never got the money. So it's just, you just really have to be careful. Um, I don't know if any of you gave, I don't know if, if any of you want to give, but we just have to be careful. I sent a message to the brother at the Manny Ortiz Delore IG page, and I haven't heard anything back. And I don't want to offend anybody, but I just have to be honest and say what I feel. Um, looking at his Instagram page, and I scrolled all the way down. Prior to Junior's death, I never seen any pictures of him and Leandra or him and Junior or anything linking him to that family. Now, since Junior's passing, 
Um, there's pictures of him and Leandra, there's pictures of him and Junior, there's pictures of him at the cemetery. And listen, sometimes people, not everybody puts their family on social media. So I don't want to, to be judgmental. So, cause you don't know, there are people that don't post their kids on social media. There's people that don't have their family on social media. Um, and I respect that. Um, but I just don't see any connection until now. Um, it's confusing to me because when Leandra talks, it's only as if Junior was her, her only child. Um, I don't even really he hear, I haven't even really heard her say my daughter, who's Genesis. You know, she says my brother. Um, I don't know if that's the father's daughter. Or if that's Leandra's daughter. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Please leave me in the comments what you think. Um, I don't know. You just It's just really upsetting that someone would take this opportunity to make money. That's all. It's just bothersome to me. Um, what I seen last night also, changing the topic. Um, for those who don't think Stephanie Ortiz the young lady in the sex tape, or for those who don't believe that the sex tape might have anything to do with Junior's passing. Um, there is a picture of her with a group of guys, and one of the guys is Jose Munez, which I will attach this video. Also, she had put on social media, free my bros. So for those who don't see the connection, it's just really, really ironic um, that the guys who murdered Junior are tied to this young lady. And there happened to be a sex tape with a young man that looks like Junior. Regardless if the tape was made in 2017, it wasn't posted to social media until now. So I just... I just find it something is definitely, definitely not right. And, and, and some people have also sent me other videos with different angles in the bodega. Um, I really, really feel instead of worrying about making a movie, instead of worrying about cash app, you're screaming justice for junior. You need to get justice for junior. I feel that the family should be pursuing and Leandra, I, I I have a picture of her that I'm also going to attach. She she's at the the uh, grave site, and she looks like she's probably lost twenty pounds, hasn't slept. She looks horrible, and I feel the people around her. You know, instead of trying to push money and other other stuff like that, I think the people around her they they just really need to support her right now and honestly the last thing that they should be thinking about is is a check right now trying to get money you want justice for junior everyone who is involved needs to be held accountable and i think they should be pursuing some sort of charge for the owner of that bodega i'm sorry that was your business. They came in your business and yes, they're saying that he did call 911 and he was on the phone for four minutes. For those of you who don't live in the area and are not familiar with the area and haven't been to the bodega, I wish I never went there because seeing how close he actually was, seeing that bench that he collapsed on, and the entrance to the emergency room is right there. I did a video and I stand by what I said. This is this, that's my opinion that that boy could have survived. If you see, and, and what was on his side and what was in his favor was the close proximity from the bodega to a hospital. And they could have got him there instead of you on the phone. And they're saying that the owner of the bodega, I seen another interview, which really pissed me off. I wish I knew what news channel this was because I would love 
to give them a piece of my mind. They're saying that wasn't the owner of the bodega that pointed to the door telling Junior to leave when he came back into the bodega bleeding. They're saying it was a customer that was telling him the owner was busy on the phone with 911. On the phone with 911 for four minutes when the hospital is a two, three minute walk right there. Really? Did you, you, you weren't even outside making sure if you told him to run and if you didn't realize the extent of his injuries and how serious the injuries were, you didn't even go outside to even look to see because you would have seen him collapse on that bench and see that he never made it to the hospital. I just think it's just so disgusting. This whole thing is so disgusting. And I I don't even think we know or if we'll ever know because like I said in a previous video, I think they already have their motive. They already wrote off Stephanie Ortiz. Um, it's just really sickening. The fact that these criminals have been running the street, one of them known and linked to other murders. Um, I just, like I said, the people who need to care don't care because you know why? They don't live in these neighborhoods. So they're not, their children, they're not worried about their kids. They're not worried about um, themselves and their safety. I'm sorry. And some of these, you know, attorneys and their prosecutors, you know, they're underpaid, overworked. They got a, a, a shitload of cases. This is just another case. And if you watch the news in New York, you see how many other people since Junior have been murdered. I, I, I seen something today, a woman found dead. I mean, it's just really, really disgusting. And it's just like... Let them kill each other. Population control. I don't know what it is, but they don't give a damn. So unfortunately, there there are going to be more innocent lives lost. You know, but I just feel the making of this movie and the talk of a movie and 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 send money to a cash app. You need to, if you truly want justice for Junior, you need to go after the people that are responsible. Or had something to do with his death. No, the owner of the bodega did not. Uh, uh, he might not have. Well, listen. If you see this other video. with He pushed him in the hands of the killer. So I'm sorry. He's responsible. So I can't even say that, you know. He, he didn't cause this attack. You didn't help him either. You made it easy for these people to kill him. And um, it's just really, really sickening. And I just think. Talks of a movie now. It's too soon. You don't even know the outcome of the damn trial. And we don't even know what really happened to Junior. So how are you making a movie? It, you know, and I know they've done movies all the time of people's passing. And I, I understand. They, may, they, they, they make movies all the time, but it's too soon. The boy doesn't even have a tombstone. He doesn't even, the grass didn't even grow over his grave yet. It's only been a month. It's really, really ridiculous. It really, really is ridiculous. And... I'll attach the picture of of Stephanie with uh, Jose Muniz, and um, it's just really it's disgusting. And I'll show you the picture of um, Leandra, um, how bad she looks now. And I mean, how else would we look if we lost our child? I'm not judging her for that reason, but I just feel that the people around her, instead of being opportunists or you know. And and maybe they don't feel that they are being, but that's how it's coming across to me now. The more and more that I look at all of these pages and all these people that are swarming around her now, um, you have to be very, very careful. I have learned the hard way. Just because we have a good heart, we have good intentions, doesn't mean the people around us do. So you have to be very, very careful. And I'm, I'm against this movie. I'm not happy about this movie. Um... I'm not saying his story doesn't need to be told, but I think it's too soon. And they'll give the family a couple of dollars, but they stand to make a lot more. Hollywood, you know. All right, guys. I mean, it's, it's late. I'm up, you know. Um, I'm going to roll a set this wig and um, catch up on some more shows, okay? But thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, the movie. And let me know, just let me know if you, if you feel the people around her are more, more opportune, op, I can't pronounce that shit. Let me know if you guys think that the people around her, um, 
are opportunists. Okay. Thanks for watching guys.